Hey house guests, welcome to today's BB Can 6 updates and spoilers. Our house guest today is Mary Patricia Dorsey. Mary, thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for the Easter cards. They were so cute and we hope you're having a great day. And if you guys want to be house guests of the day like Mary, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. Okay, so last night, OMG, Canada saved Ryan. It was crazy. Uh, Erica was nominated and evicted by a vote of five to two. I was gonna say Jeremy. Johnny and Ryan were the two votes to save Erica. And there was some drama during Erica's exit. There were a few FUs exchanged. Kayla exposed Johnny. She was like, hey, you said you wanted to keep Will? This was the only way that he would stay. Oh, she did that. That was crazy. So then when the feeds came back, the excitement wasn't over. We find out that Derek is the new HOH. Wow, I, I never saw that coming. And on like a questions HOH, what? It sounds like it came down to possibly Derek and Johnny and Johnny was very close in the tiebreaker, but Derek pulled out the win. Wow, okay, so Johnny and Will were commiserating out by the hot tub and Johnny's like, I just hate them so much, Will. He is pissed he's down in the dumps he's upset so johnny knows that he's gonna be the target this week uh he says that he's been arguing with kayla all day apparently we missed some stuff while the feeds were down and uh they're both still just in shock about what just happened and will says you know what it's not over yet you still have the veto and if ryan goes up he's 100 percent going i wouldn't be too sure about that but you know who comes outside and breaks this up Ryan. Okay, so then Allie, Liv, and Dela are up in the HOH room, and Allie's like, okay, everything went awesome, but moving forward, please don't blow our cover, because Johnny's probably going to ask you who told you Erica was coming after you, so just, like, do us a favor, don't say it was us, because then he's going to gather everybody together and come after us. I feel like he's going to be able to figure it out, but... Honestly, like he hasn't really done anything about it yet, so I don't know, maybe he won't. But Kayla's like, don't worry about it, we're not going to tell on you guys. Thanks for keeping us in the know and like having our backs. Like this really solidified them as a group of four, they feel like they can all trust each other. So yeah, Allie says, I got some more info for you. Johnny was emotional and let it slip that he had a final two with Erica. He'll probably deny it if you ask him about it, but he definitely said it. So Kayla's like, I knew it. <laughs> How did everyone not know that? I mean, obviously this stuff is really apparent to us watching from the outside, but still, like, they would sit in their beds for, like, hours every morning and just talk game. Come on. So then um, they discuss how Johnny is apparently denying voting out Will. He keeps pulling Will aside, trying to pull him back in, make sure he's good with him, and apparently he's blaming the vote on Allie or Liv. Ryan has already owned up to his vote. They know that he was one of the votes, but the other one is kind of questionable, but they all know it was Johnny. So then Paris and Maddie had a game chat in the white bedroom, and Maddie says, you know what? I'm gonna have to be a, a big girl, and I'm gonna make a truce with Ryan because there are bigger fish to fry, and it's not good for either of our games to go after each other at this point. So I think he'll understand. I'm going to try it. So <laughs> they know that Johnny voted Will out. Hello. Look at the way Johnny reacted when Erica was evicted. He thought Erica would be staying. And he was pretty upset. So they both want Johnny out this week. They feel like he's been playing both sides. Yeah. And uh, they also want to make sure that Will is not gonna trust Johnny again. So they really need to push that with him and be like, hey, Johnny voted you out last week, so what are you gonna do about it? So then Johnny and Dayla were chatting outside and Johnny asks, do you guys feel uncomfortable around me now? Like, since Erica just left and I'm all emotional? He says he feels like all eyes are on him right now. He feels alone. And Kayla's like, we're all emotional about what just happened. Um, you told everybody to F off, so <laughs> I think it's pretty clear that you were the vote, for, one of the votes for Will to go. She's like laughing about it, it's lighthearted. But Johnny's still denying the vote. <laughs> so then <laughs> Kayla's like, who else would it have been? And Johnny's like, I don't know. You know, I get how it looks. Maddie and Paris would not have voted out Johnny. 
um, Derek would not go against you, Liv and Allie, like, why would one of them vote one way and the other one wouldn't, but they did that, like, last week with the Ryan vote, but whatever. So, yeah, he's like, I get how it looks, but it wasn't me. So, Johnny says he feels like everybody wants him out now, they're all gonna be throwing his name out there, um, and he feels really alone, especially on a personal level. So, Kayla's like, oh, don't feel alone. <laughs> but... <laughs> Johnny is telling them, please, I want you to see me as, like, a free person in this game. I feel like I'm starting at, um, you know, at the beginning again, and I want you guys to see that you can use me. So Derek's like, you know what, I'm going to talk to everybody and see what everybody has to say, and then we will discuss this further. So then Johnny and Will were talking outside again, and Will's like, hey, you're not going to throw our game under the bus, are you? And Johnny's like, um, no. This is all I've got right now. I'm not gonna blow this. You know Will is thinking, like, I'll throw you under the bus. <laughs> He's freaking ready to do it. So then Will's like, cool. Um, he lets Johnny know, Allie's going around this house really upset because she heard that you're blaming the vote on either her or Liv, and she's saying she didn't do it. So Johnny's like, I never said that, and... I wasn't the vote. <laughs> so, Will um, is again telling Johnny, don't worry, I think that Ryan's going to be the target this week. And again, Johnny's saying he's pretty sure it's going to be him. He feels like Kayla's been feeding him BS since last week. He feels like he or Erica were the backdoor target last week and it just didn't happen. But he's not just going to go and kiss anybody's ass this week. Um, he's like over it. He doesn't want to do it. He doesn't want to give them names and they're going to turn around and tell the person that he was throwing them under the bus. Um, we'll see how he feels after he's calmed down a little bit. I think he might be ready to kiss some asses. So <laughs> Will is relieved to hear all this because he knows he could be in trouble if Johnny starts throwing people under the bus. So then Olivia joins them and Johnny tells Liv, I never blame the vote on you or Allie. No way. Um, so Olivia's like, I don't freaking care who did it as long as I'm not being blamed for it. But Allie's pretty upset, so you might need to, like, fix that. I don't know. Um, but then Will leaves, and Johnny's all, I'm all alone. It's very spam a lot, and Liv is just like, what the frig, man? I'm right here. So she's telling him, you're not alone. It's gonna be fine. Chill. All right. So then... Maddie and Paris were talking to Will in the bathroom area, trying to wake him up game-wise. They say that Allie and Liv have both told them, like, we did not vote to evict Will. We voted to evict Erica. And they believe them when they say that. So Will's like, it had to be Johnny, you know? It is what it is. He's not owning up to it right now, but, like, who else could it have possibly been? So Maddie's like, yeah, can you really trust him? She says, I think it's best for the three of us to work together. Will agrees, of course, because Johnny's ship is sinking. So he's done with that. He's going to float to the power. And they're realizing this week, if Will, Maddie, and Paris all stay off the block, this will be the first time that they will have, like, major control over the vote. There's, what, seven people voting this week? Is it seven? I believe it's seven. Um, no. How could that be? Six? Six people voting this week. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I was like, what's five plus two? Okay, six people voting this week. So they could at least force a tie with just their votes alone, and they feel pretty good about that. Um, so Will is like, whatever. I just don't want to go up on the block again. I can't work with Dela in the future if they put me up again. Um... He said he doesn't care who goes up, as long as it's not him. Mm-hmm. That should be a red flag, Maddie and Paris. But anyway, Maddie is just reinforcing we can't trust Johnny right now, and Will agrees because Johnny won't even fess up to the vote. So then Paris and Will were alone, and Paris is like, you need to be careful what you tell Maddie because she's sketchy. <laughs> she's always throwing her under the bus, and so is Will. Um, so she's like... Maddie will run right to Dela because they're in power this week. <laughs> what are you going to do? I feel like you do that too. Mm. So then Ryan, Johnny, and Allie were outside. And Allie, like I said before, is ticked off because she's hearing that she might be being blamed for this vote. She didn't do it. So Allie's like, whoever voted for Will should just own it. And I feel like I'm watching an episode of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. <laughs> own it. Speak your truth. 
all of those things. Um, just to remind you guys again, Ryan has already owned it, Johnny has not, but Allie's like, it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. Everybody can vote how they want to vote. Last week, I voted Ryan out, even though, even though I knew Marin was going. Who cares? I don't think Will even cares. So she said, obviously, we all know it's hard when you have two friends up there. There's no right or wrong. So whoever did it, just know that. <laughs> And it's like very clear that she's talking about Johnny, duh. So they're all laughing about it and um, Johnny and Allie end up hugging. But still, Johnny does not say like, it was me. Okay, so then Allie and Olivia had an interesting chat in the red room. They're worried that if Johnny goes this week, they're going to become the biggest targets. Especially if they're going into some sort of double or triple eviction. So they're like, you know what? It would be better this week. To split up Maddie, Paris, and Will. Paris has a lot of people working with her. She's got a lot of people wrapped around her finger. Um, those three are a tight little trio. And if we can get Dela to put up that group, like we will know that they're not working with them because they don't really know at this point how close Dela is with Maddie and Paris. So they're thinking, okay, we can get rid of one of them. We'll keep Johnny close to us pulling Ryan on the side and it'll be great. You know, we got a little side piece. So then um, Allie was doing the battery change around the house. She has a quick chat with Derek and she's like, um, it's your HOH. So we're going to support whatever you want to do. But and then she unloads some info on him. She's like, I was talking to Maddie and she told me that the only people she really trusts are Paris and Will. Um, and she told me that she's going to make a truce with Ryan this week so that Paris will be happy and have a good week. So clearly Paris has a lot of control over Ryan and Maddie. We know that she's close with Will. Um, she's got a, a bunch of people working with her. So if you've got Maddie, Paris, Will, and Ryan, and they managed to pull in Johnny too, that's going to be five versus four. And that would be really bad for us. Okay, bye. So... <laughs> They're going to talk more later, but then Derek tells Kayla about this info from Allie, and they're taking it in, but they still feel like they're really good with Maddie and Paris, um, but don't forget, Kayla's like, Paris did tell us to be careful with Maddie, and Paris does talk a lot to everybody else. She's good with everybody, so like, we need to keep an eye on that, but they do feel like they're good with those two. So Derek says it's similar to last week. He's only got like half of a, half of, what am I trying to say here? He's only really considering nominating half of the people that are eligible this week. He feels good with Ali, Liv, obviously Kayla, and Paris. So he's only really considering Will, Ryan, Johnny, and Maddie. So they feel at this point the best move for them would be to nominate Ryan and Johnny. They can't save each other with a veto. Um... They would want Johnny to go, but they're not totally sure which person would be evicted. They feel like they both have to go anyway, so that doesn't really bother them. Um, but like I said, it seems like they would rather see Johnny go, and once he's gone, they would have a much better chance at winning competitions. True. Okay, so then, late last night, Johnny finally owned up to his vote. Uh, Will came into the bedroom and he's like, all right, I hate to ask you this again, but, and Johnny cuts him off and he's like, I voted you out. <laughs> so he says, I'm a big piece of shit liar. I was all dramatic about it. And now I don't know what to do. He says he panicked because he had just lost Erica and he didn't want to lose Will too. And you know, he just blurted out like, oh, I didn't vote for you. And then it was too late. He couldn't change it. And he just kept getting deeper and deeper into this lie. So he's like, yeah, I had final twos with both of you guys. But I didn't think that I'd have to choose between the two of you so soon. So Will's like, well, I knew it was you. I'm hurt, but I respect you for owning up to it. I think you should probably tell everybody else for your own game. Um, but Will says it's water under the bridge, you know, no hard feelings. But then... After they break up their conversation, uh, Johnny walks away and Will's like, I'll get you when you least expect it, boy. That's creepy! Ew! And the way he said it sounded so creepy. Alright, so then Johnny goes around and tells everybody else, and it's like 2 in the morning, but he stops uh, by the HOH room to talk to Derek and Kayla, then he tells Paris and Ryan, and then he tells Allie, Liv, and Maddie, so he gets to everybody. He's like, I'm dying inside, I feel like a piece of shit, um, I was the vote, and... 
they're just like, we know. <laughs> like, they're all glad that he decided to come clean. Because nobody wants to get blamed for their hinky vote shit. No way. Um, I don't think this really did anything for Johnny. I mean, he was a big target going into this week, hinky vote or not. So, whatevs. I mean, I wouldn't really call it a hinky vote. He's just on the wrong side of the vote. Okay, so then, today. They had the have not competition. Yay! I love when they have have not competitions. And apparently they were split up into two teams. One team was all girls and the other team was the three guys. Is it three guys left? Three guys except for Derek because he's the HOH. He wasn't playing. So Ryan, Will, and Johnny with Maddie. So I'm not sure exactly what the competition was, but they were all talking a lot about basketball, so I think it had something to do with that. And guess what? The girls lost. So Kayla, Allie, Liv, and Paris are all have-nots. That sucks. Okay, so that was done. And then <laughs> it was time for Derek to have some more HOH talks. So Johnny was talking to him up in the HOH room, and this is so sad. Derek was like, does it matter if Kayla's not here? <laughs> Cause like, he's the HOH, but we all know that Kayla's running the show. So, <laughs> Derek is basically like, you know, I'm gonna move forward with the people that I can trust. I have to talk to everybody before I make a decision. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but like, let's chat a little bit. So, Johnny is saying, I have no one. Um, you know, if you were up on the block against me, I would go home, you would stay. So he said at this, at this point he is looking to get scooped up by one of the duos or something. So he's like, I can win competitions for you guys, I'm a really great ally, blah blah blah. So they're talking for a really long time. Eventually Kayla joins them and Kayla wants to know, Johnny, if you had won HOH this week, would you put us up on the block? And Johnny says, no. What? Are you freaking kidding me? He says that he would talk to them and see what's up, but who knows? <laughs> Come on, he's been saying for weeks that he would want to put up Derek and Kayla. It's ridiculous. But again, Johnny is pitching. He wants to be their third. Um, they would be his new number ones, and he's saying, I'm a really great ally. Is he BSing them, or is he for real? Would he really like ditch everything else that he has and just go with Derek and Kayla? I don't know. It's an interesting idea, but... Probably not. I feel like Johnny would just like come out of his cocoon as his like death butterfly or whatever and just do whatever he wants. But anyway, nothing was decided with this conversation and it was a very long chat. It was definitely approaching at least an hour and a half. So it was a lot. But Derek still has to talk to everybody. So then later he was talking to Ryan and Ryan's like, obviously we have quite a history, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to ignore that. Um, so he says his only pitch is... And then he talks about when he was told to target Dela in order to stay. So he's like, would you go after me who was saying that I was going to go after you? Or would you go after the person who was steering me towards you guys? Don't you think that person would be more dangerous? And of course, he's talking about Maddie without saying her name. So he's like, it wasn't me. Okay, <laughs> it wasn't me. And he says, Canada pulled me off the block, so... I don't know what that means to you. And Derek's like, well, it could be that Canada saw you were pulling the truth and you, pulling the truth, telling the truth and you got screwed over. So maybe they were just trying to right that wrong. I don't know. But again, he needs to talk to everybody first. Um, so then later, Allie starts making some moves on Ryan. They had some game chat over a pool game and Allie says to Ryan, Olivia and I have been talking and we know that we can't go to the end with Dela. You know, who knows what, what, what'll happen if we have a triple eviction or like beyond that, whatever. We can't go to the end with Dela. And I'm not sure if she's just like saying this to pull Ryan in or if they really do feel like they can't go to the end with Dela because I thought they were feeling pretty good with them going deep into the game. But maybe now that Dela's winning competitions, they're like, ugh. Um, so anyway, she's like, we want to solidify something with you but first I gotta know, what do you have going on? Like, who are you working with? So, Ryan says, I'm very close with Paris. Um, you know, we kind of have like this father-daughter thing almost, but that's pretty much it. 
you know, there's nothing really else going on. And Allie's cool with that. She's like, okay, well, we're not really going after Paris. Mm, maybe they are. But, you know, we're not going to screw you over like that. So Allie lets him know, if you end up on the block, you can count on my vote and Liv's vote. So Ryan's like, okay, sweet, because I would only need uh, four to stay or whatever, so that's halfway there. That's great. All right, so yeah, she's kind of been coaching him too, telling him what to say to Derek to make sure he's safe this week. So it's interesting. Um, I don't know if they're going to convince uh, Derek and Kayla to go after Maddie Will Paris or what. It's going to be interesting so I'm not sure if they're having nominations tonight or tomorrow it's looking more and more like it's gonna be tomorrow morning but uh, I also don't know who's gonna go up they were saying Ryan and Johnny before but I don't know I think it is gonna be some combination of Ryan Will and Johnny but who knows which two they'll land on and uh, Derek is having his Wendy's meal and he chose Paris to go with him not Kayla whoa okay so let me know what you guys think in the comments, and until tomorrow, much love.